Good morning. So today is June 30th, 2020. And I just got done tying up tomatoes, or fenced tomatoes for the second time. And you can kind of see where I trimmed away the bottom area too to help prevent diseased plants. They're doing really, really well. They're loaded with either buds or baby tomatoes. So hopefully we have a really good crop of tomatoes for making salsa and marinara sauce, spaghetti sauce, that sort of thing. Carrots are doing really good. I added some tomatoes here because carrots love tomatoes and those tomatoes didn't have a home and I kind of felt bad for them. I still have some that are probably just gonna have to get pitched that I started from seed. Um, only half the, I believe that is kale, came up. Um, I planted kale and arugula in there and I don't think any of the arugula came up, which was really disappointing. Our onions are doing very, very well. They're gonna be nice, big, fat onions. Our potatoes are looking awesome. Um, we had some that didn't come up, so I planted sweet potatoes in there. And now the sweet potatoes are doing good since we put the fence in, the perimeter fence, because the bunnies were eating them. Who would have thought bunnies would eat sweet potatoes? Those are our sunflowers that will be anywhere from 9 to 12 feet tall. And back in here, we used to just have this little area here fenced in for the raised bed. And then after the bunny attacks of 2020, we ended up putting a, just a short fence all the way around. And it's working. It's keeping the bunnies out. And that's, they were trying to eat about everything. These are our summer squash. This is a eight ball zucchini, so it's a round green zucchini. Kind of excited to see. There's a little baby one on there. Oh, several little baby ones on there. They kind of look like pumpkins or watermelon when they're first starting out. Our cucumbers, I think this is either the second or third um, try with cucumbers because they were taken out originally by cucumber beetles. And so I think this is the second try with them. Um, I did have one that I was really excited about. It was supposed to be a really tall trellising one. Ended up having to dig it up. It wasn't growing at all and the root system wasn't going anywhere. So I don't know if it was compromised when I planted it. These are our peas. They're trellising peas. They're supposed to get really tall. Uh, we planted, I put wildflowers in here originally, but it all came up weeds. I don't know why they didn't germinate. Um, so I did start a bunch of marigolds from seed. And so we just went ahead and planted the marigolds in there. This side is a mix of weeds and um, wildflowers. And you can actually see the wildflowers. These are our pole beans. These should get about eight feet tall. Um, this guy here. Is about as tall as me already but that will all be full of leaves at some point so that should be really pretty the cantaloupe have been a struggle this year they were attacked by the cucumber beetles also and I thought they were all dead but then they got new little shoots and they are trying so hard to come back these are all plants I started from seed and right now, that one's looking really healthy. And we actually have a few more. There's one, there's two more that are trying to pop back out after being wiped out. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, this here was attacked by a bunny. Every leaf was bitten off, but it has new leaves on it. So that's exciting. Our cabbages. And again, it was another one of those things where the, some of the ones I started from seed made it. But we actually went out and had to buy, oh, I think at least 16 more plants, replacement plants. These are peas that were just extra peas we had left over. And Andrew planted them along the fence. Peas there, green beans there. This is a winter squash. I believe this is a delicata. These are buttercup squash. Originally thought they were butternut and got home and the label said the other 
otherwise. This is our watermelon. And this is our jack-o'-lantern. And we started him from seed, thought he was gone, and he came back. And we believe this is a pumpkin over here. He came up in the tomatoes. We transplanted him. Of course, you lose a lot of growth um, from the shock of transplanting, but it has tons of new growth. So it's doing great. Another butternut. And hopefully these cantaloupe take off because they're just absolutely beautiful when they cover a trellis. We did that last year. Only this year we have a much more sturdy trellis to hold their weight. Last year we had trellises collapsing. And these are our tomatoes. And like I said, I still kind of have a miss here because I did the second tie up with them and trimming. Um, keep most of the stuff off the bottom. Just it helps to prevent disease and stuff. This is a volunteer tomato. We think it's a grape tomato, but we're not sure. We'll see what it brings. But we have new little baby ones. It came up in the onions. We moved it over here, so the fact that it's still going is pretty good. And these guys all have tons of blossoms. And like I said, some of them even... This one actually broke off at the top, so I wasn't sure if he'd make it. Because that usually stops him from growing. And as you can see, he's not getting tall, but he is actually producing... Oh, these are the yellow pear tomatoes. And I can see now they're very much shaped like a little baby pear. So yellow pear tomatoes, and then we have black crumb tomatoes. I believe the, that's these up here. Um, one little random cherry tomato right here that I found at the store and it looked really sad. I believe this is black crumb. These first few here are beefsteak tomatoes. I think. And then the rest are Roma. So lots of Roma because Roma are great for making tomato sauce and uh, salsa, like marinara sauce. These are peppers. These are all peppers I started from seed here. These are all peppers that were eaten by bunnies. And then are trying now to come back. They should be like these peppers that I bought. But since they were taken out, this one was bitten off completely at the top. Almost every leaf stripped off. And so that one did get attacked by bunnies too. This one a little bit, but we got them fenced in <laughs> before we put the perimeter fence up. So yeah, this is what's going on in the garden. Hoping our peppers actually do something after being tortured. We've had a struggle this year between squash bugs and cucumber beetles and bunnies. We've been in full out war mode against those things so that our garden can make it and thrive. Oh, and one little funny thing here. See these little bird houses right here? See there's a little birdie right over there. Yeah, he's telling me off. These little birdhouses I just bought for decorations because I thought they were super cute. They both have nest in them. If I come up here. See, it's telling me off because this, this is... See, there's a little nest in there. And the birds are so sweet. I think they're wrens. They're just, they sing the prettiest songs. Ooh, look, one of the peas is starting to grab hold, so this is when they should start to climb. Yay! So, again, this is our garden, and I'm really excited to see what everything looks like in about a month from now. It's really taken off just in the last, the last week. It's between the warmth and the rain. Look at all those summer squash in there. Summer squash, summer squash, summer squash. That one will be ready to pick soon. And do I see a bug in there? No. I was actually, we were up here hunting for squash bugs and cucumber beetles last night and trying to mitigate. Oh, and that's another sweet potato. That one was behind the fence, so the bunnies didn't get it. So this is how big they all should be. And that 
there also was under attack. These are some of my cucumbers I started from from seed, and you can see, oh, yep, there's one of those stupid striped bugs right now, beetles right now, feeding on it. See, right down there. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, they're horrible. But that's what they did to all our plants. Oh, got it. That's what they did to everything. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Yep, you need to spray this one. I use an organic spray, but... Man, it's just, it's frustrating. Like, these guys can't get any growth on them because they keep getting attacked. And they were just absolutely beautiful when I brought them out here. Look at them. They're just everywhere. Anyway, that's, that's our garden on this day. So we'll see what happens in, in the next few weeks. God bless.